Hello guys, <laughs> totally a different vantage point from my usual live videos, but um, I'm healing. I'm in California and I'm healing from my breast explant surgery, which I've talked about a little bit on my YouTube and um, just wanted to come on here today. Um, sorry, it's the worst angle ever, but I'm still not really allowed to move my arms very much after surgery. So I'm just um, sitting with my like ramp pillow on the couch and um, I just figured I would come on here to give an update and also just to say hi to everybody. Um, thank you for all of your nice comments and all your well wishes for my surgery. Um, so if you don't know me, my name is Megan Graham and I have this YouTube channel. I talk about, you know, all kinds of different things on my YouTube. But today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about my breast explant surgery. So if you don't know what breast explant is, it's actually taking out your breast implants um, if they were making you sick. And I guess some people do it if they weren't making them sick just because they want to. Um, in my case, my immune system has been overactive for a long time and it's actually been trying to remove my breast implants for me, which it could never do. Um, so some of, I mean, I was having various different symptoms from it, um, but basically my immune system was really overactive. And so some of the things that I just want to say have already changed. Um, I had a lot of difficulty swallowing. So even if I was trying to swallow pills, sometimes they were getting caught in my throat. Um, I was sneezing probably between 10 and 20 times per day. Um, I had dry eyes and I always felt like there was something in my eyes. And my eyes were also partially closed all the time. So you may not have noticed it if you just looked at me. It looked like I was fine, but they were just kind of like this. And um, John, how are you? It's so nice to see you. Um, I am feeling so incredibly different already. It's so crazy. So wanted to get on here and just kind of explain some of the process. But basically, um, my nose is no longer running. Um, I was coughing stuff up every morning in the shower. Um, sometimes after I was eating, I was sort of like dry heaving, trying not to throw up for whatever reason. And um, the biggest symptom that I was having overall that I just couldn't shake was the worst fatigue of my entire life. And it had gone away. So after I treated my mold illness, I got a lot better and my fatigue got so much better um, and I was able to function. But interestingly enough, um, I'm just here. I'm in California healing, John. So my surgery was in Newport Beach because that's where the best surgeon is. So I'm healing in California because I'm still not really allowed to move around too much or move my arms because it was such a major surgery. So I'm just in a condo that we rented in Newport Beach and then going home on Sunday. But um, so the biggest symptom was just the fatigue and the fatigue had really set in pretty hardcore. Um, for whatever reason, um, things started changing. About three months ago, um, people had told me that I needed to get my breast implants out and that my immune system was rejecting them. And it just wasn't like convenient to me and it wasn't something that I wanted to do. Um, I really mentally fought back hard against it. I didn't want to do it. I didn't see how they could possibly be making me sick. And um, so I kind of like, even people wrote me on my Instagram and I would, it's so terrible, but I would like block them because I didn't want to hear it. And I thought that, you know, it was crazy and that that couldn't possibly be wrong with me. Um, and so it was interesting, but, you know, as much as I fought back against the, you know, the, the truth that my breast implants were making me sick because it just didn't seem like they could. Um, finally, what happened was I started getting some stabbing pains in the area and also um, burning pains. And so when you get pain, it's hard to, it's hard to say, you know, oh, it's nothing or they're fine. So I really knew that something was wrong. Um, and so I finally admitted it, researched, and realized that, you know, any object that's put into your body that's a foreign object is something that your body can reject. Um, and this is just a hunch, but I think that my body probably started rejecting my breast implants around the time that I got very sick from mold toxicity, which revs up your immune system completely and makes everything go haywire anyway. Um, so I was able to book the surgery really quickly. I booked a surgeon in California. His name is Dr. Jay Chun. He's in Newport Beach. He's very well known for doing this specialized surgery. And it is a specialized surgery in that they need to take out the entire, so your body forms a scar capsule around the implants. And it's really important that a surgery takes out every, or a surgeon takes out that entire bit of scar capsule. Um, 
if any of the scar capsule is left in, you're leaving inflammation and your body does not disintegrate that and you're, you're not going to be able to heal. So really important if you do have an issue like this, that you make sure that you take out the entire scar capsule because taking out part of it will not work. Um, so Jeff and I got into California on, I'm trying to remember, we got into California last Sunday. Um, I got this entire condo ready. I washed everything. And unfortunately, um, even though it's a really pretty condo, the um, air filters in the HVAC were filthy. It's like the first thing that I inspect. And so we had them come in and vacuum them, but I've not turned on the air just because I have had so much mold toxicity that I would never, um, I would never possibly, um, you know, like touch anything. Um, there's someone with a package, but I can't open the door because I'm not supposed to open doors. So I hope he just leaves it and goes away. Um, anyway, so I, the, the place has been good. We prepped it. We cleaned it. Monday was my pre-op. And so I saw the doctor, he took photos of me and right away when he was taking the before photos, he basically looked and noticed that the side, so the side, my right side of my body was the side that was hurting me more. And he did look at it and say that that side looked different, which I had noticed as well. Um, and so it was interesting because I later got to see, you know, of course, like the scar capsule and things like that. And what had happened was my body had formed a heavy scar capsule on the right side and it was no longer a round implant. My body was like squeezing it like a little, like it was trying to juice a lemon or something. So I think that was probably the pain that my body was feeling. My body was hardcore rejecting that implant. It wasn't ruptured. It, um, it didn't look, you know, visually moldy or anything like that, but my body did not want that thing in it. And so my body was doing a great job trying to remove my breast implants. It just couldn't fully do it. But um, I think that was the pain that I was feeling. So anyway, my pre-op went really well. I was so incredibly nervous that I couldn't breathe when I was sitting there talking to the doctor. Um, I am a pretty wimpy person about surgery, about, you know, needles, about anything like that. So mentally, it was um, a really hard thing for me to do this because I was scared. Um, but, you know, we did our stuff. We got a lot of foods and got things ready. And um, my surgery was on Tuesday morning. And um, so my surgeon is amazing. So first of all, I think he's super, super great. He's an intense person. And the morning of the surgery was probably my scariest um, morning of my entire life. It was just really intense getting there. My husband could not come in with me. And um, just a lot of mental stuff for me to have to do. So they basically said, and I hope I'm not grossing anybody out with details, but I just thought just in case anybody might be going through this, I'll just give you some details, um, kind of normalize it for you. Um, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, John. I feel like I like shouldn't even tell you. I'll just try to gloss over it. Basically, they had to mark me up for surgery, but they decided to do it after I had my IV and I'm a person that passes out. So it was really a mental battle because my body was trying to pass out. Um, and the, the doctor is great, but like he was pretty, he was irritated for sure that I was almost passing out. Um, and I think, you know, he just has, he's intense. He has surgery to do. And he was like, I don't know if you should do this surgery because if you can't even handle me marking you before surgery, I don't know how you're going to go through the other steps. And I just said, look, I know I'm not the strongest person right now. I know I'm almost passing out, but I can do this. I will do this. And I need you to do this surgery. So please just do it. I will figure out the steps little by little as we go, but I need to get this surgery done. Um, guys, feel free to say hi in the comments if you want to as well. Like I welcome anybody that's on here. I appreciate you guys joining me and I'm happy to answer any of your questions. So John, no, I was not awake. And so I got through it. He, um, I, he, he was like, he wasn't mean. He was just really intense. And I appreciate what he said because the following stuff was hard too. But anyway, so he wound up doing the markings and then, you know, basically I remember talking to the anesthesiologist. He was really nice and he had gone to school in Boston. So he was chatting with me, chatting away with me. And you know what? Next thing you know, John, I was waking up and it was the best feeling in the world to wake up with the recovery nurse. She was super, super nice. And she said, you know, she had me all warm in a blanket and she said, you're done. Your surgery's over. It went really well. Everything is out. 
And um, yeah, I felt so proud and so accomplished and like, just like, like I felt like a warrior. Like I can almost cry thinking about it because I was so scared, you guys. Scared for so many reasons, but I was so scared. Haley, it's so nice to see you. Thank you so much for dropping by. It says, hi, Megan. Lovely to see you. I'm so glad you are okay after your surgery. You look well. Thank you, Haley. I can't like, it's a bad angle and I can't really like move my hands enough to put mascara on and makeup, but that's okay. I still just wanted to get on and just like chat with you guys. Hey, hey, Scott. Thank you for joining and saying hi. I appreciate it. So yeah, so I woke up in recovery, um, did not, you know, didn't feel too bad. I actually handle anesthesia pretty well. Um, I like, I attribute it to all of my detoxing and strengthening that I've done. Um, I did a lot of the microbe formulas this past year. And I have to say, I worked on my drainage um, a lot. For those of you that don't know, I did a lot of detox. I got rid of gallstones. I got rid of toxins and it made a huge, huge difference. Angela, how are you? Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, guys, it's so nice to see you. And Jackie, hello. Thank you so much for wishing me the best. I appreciate it. This is so funny. I was like, I can't believe I'm getting on. My husband did these braids for me, by the way. He's he's brushing my hair and braiding it, and he is doing so well. Um, he's checking on me right now. He just sent me a little text asking how I'm doing because he went to the gym and left me alone for the first time. Um, and so, yeah, so I woke up. We came home, and so I'm seven days out. I got my surgery. Mariana, hello. It's so nice to see you. Thank you for saying hi. So I'm seven days out from my surgery, and it's just been a super interesting recovery. Um, I'm supposed to move my hands and arms as little as possible. Um, Basically, so good news, The be I got the best news possible after surgery. My implants were not ruptured, which I really thought they were going to be. And there's only so much you can do if your implants are ruptured because, you know, silicone's in your body and you can't take that all out. So I am super lucky, super, I don't want to say blessed, but I feel blessed and grateful that my implants were intact. They were taken out. You know, he took all the scar tissue out. And he's a really good doctor, so he also put me back together really nicely, which I'm so appreciative for. Um, he gave me back my implants, and they weigh three pounds. Um, yeah, so I was – he said that basically the way that they were, they were, like, giving a lot of pressure around my neck, and it was the equivalent of me wearing a three-pound necklace, which would have also been throwing me off balance and – making my chemical, he didn't say this part, this is my friend who's a doctor told me that that would make my chemical sensitivities worse and also throw my back and neck out of alignment. So that weight is gone. And um, yeah, so basically for the past few days, the first few days I was, I took a few pain things, never any narcotics, just Tylenol and some pain stuff and anti-nausea that he gave me. Um, I felt okay, just a little bit slow. And my husband helps me with everything, including getting up, getting off the couch. Um, I can't open the fridge, make my own food. I'm really not supposed to do much of anything. Um, but after a few days, um, the doctor, I'm trying to think, uh, my friend who's a doctor said, why don't you try to just not take the pain stuff? You may not need it and you might want to give your liver a break. So I stopped taking the pain stuff and I was totally fine. The pain has been totally minimal. Every once in a while, you'll get like a quick zap. It's not even super painful. It's just like an, it's like an ouchie for a second and then it goes away. And um, other than that, the healing has been pretty amazing. Um, but so the most interesting thing is just that I've noticed that it's like I had allergy symptoms and they're gone. So my eyes aren't dry anymore. I have no trouble swallowing. Um, I'm not sneezing. My nose isn't running. I'm not coughing stuff up. Um, I'm not like dry heaving after I eat, which was happening. And But most importantly, um, I didn't really make a really big deal of this. But <laughs> before this happened, the last few weeks, my health started to decline so fast. So this was a really, really well-timed surgery. Um, I felt like I was dying the last few weeks. It was as bad as I've ever felt from mold. And um, I would wake up feeling like I had been crying for hours and just being just so fatigued. And I had a lot of mental confusion where I would be like trying to dictate into my phone and I kept getting the words wrong, showing up to appointments at the wrong time. And um, basically it was brain inflammation because my body was so hyper inflamed at the end. Um, and so all of that is gone. Um, I wake up in the morning and I just, I don't like hang out in bed and want to stay in bed. I wake up and just, I'm sleeping for eight hours because my stomach isn't upset anymore. Um, I wake up and I just want to get out of bed. My, I just don't feel like I have allergies anymore. And the craziest thing, I'm going to have to post an update photo. 
but my eyes were half closed before and one of them was smaller than the other. And now they're just like, I don't look beautiful. Like by far, I know I don't look my best right now because I don't have my makeup on. And obviously my body went through, like this was a full reconstructive surgery. Like it was really major. Um, but it, um, thank you so much for your nice things that you're saying, you guys, Scott, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And John, thanks for just like supporting and understanding. Yeah, it was just, um, it was a major thing, but in a million years, I never could have pictured that something like implants could make you this sick. Um, I have a feeling my body rejected them from the mold, but I think, you know, some people might be fine with implants. Um, but my body certainly, certainly did not want those things. Um, and so all in all, you know, the recovery has been really smooth. Um, one interesting thing, I was really afraid because I had to get drains put in and I was like, no, I don't want that. It's going to be so scary. Um, but really, really happy. I got them taken out super fast. It didn't hurt. It didn't bother me. It was fine. Um, they really just get the, the, you know, any buildup of fluids away from the area of surgery where something was removed. Um, but I was so proud of myself because they were amazed by how little fluid I was producing. They were like, wow, your numbers are so low. And I definitely attribute that to all of the hard work that I did this year in, in making my drainage good and in doing my deep breathing every morning, hydrating, eating good foods, and getting my health the best that it could be when I still had something in my body that did not belong. So it was really nice to see that. And um, I don't know if there's, there's probably not, I don't know if there's anyone on here that is like thinking about getting an X plan or if anybody has any questions about it or anything like that. But um, I do think that you see a lot of stuff on, um, you know, on social media where people just like show one picture before the surgery and they like, they look rough and then they show another picture and they just look beautiful. And I just wanted to come on and just kind of normalize that. Yes, it is not a bad process, but it's a real process. And it's not necessarily one where you go from like, you know, like a broken down person to like your most beautiful self. Um, <laughs> excuse me, overnight. I mean, like all true healing, it takes a little bit longer and, or maybe a lot longer. I'm sure that I'll be seeing changes, you know, unfolding over the next year, you know, maybe the next even 16 months or two years or what have you, just because there, you know, there were so many like systemic inflammatory things that I had happen because of this. Um, but I am seeing some really positive, you know, instant changes. Just um, like when Jeff and I go for walks and things like that, I get tired after like five minutes. So it's a really, um, you know, it's a like it takes a lot out of your body um, to get surgery and things like that. And then I think there's also the part of, um, you know, accepting yourself for like being, how do I say this? Accepting yourself after getting a major surgery where you, you have undone a cosmetic surgery and also just like, you know, getting to that point of like letting all of your feelings be your feelings and knowing that that's okay. So like the first, it, everything was just hard. It was hard having my um, husband helped me, although he's the kindest man in the entire world. Um, so it's hard not to be able to do anything myself. I think I got really, I started to cry one day because I tried to moisturize my face and I couldn't reach my hands up. Like they just, and I wasn't going to force it obviously, but I could tell that I could not moisturize my own face. And it just like, I don't know why, but it just made me cry. And um, so just having that humbling experience of having someone help you and also, you know, I hope this isn't too much information, but I did want to really just like say what the whole experience was like, even just like taking the first shower and seeing myself and seeing myself look different. I had a moment of grief of, you know, not even for how I looked, although you don't look as perfect as you might like to look initially, but I think I had a moment of um, grieving because I knew like from the fact that my body was reconstructed. I had a moment of grief that I ever did that to my body. And I think I had that the first few showers where I was like, oh, I feel so bad that I did this. But, you know, you just let yourself have those feelings. And then those feelings evolve into grateful feelings. Um, and, you know, it's really evolved into feeling grateful um, because there's nothing as wonderful. Like, I'm so happy that I actually had energy. And today I was like, wow, I want to hop on and talk to everybody and let them know how I'm healing. And um, yeah, I just, I feel 
I mean, I know I don't look, you know, my most beautiful and have like the best angle and things like that. And I can't do my own hair. I can't style my own hair or wash it or anything like that. But um, I really have a really intense gratefulness for having my (laughs) natural factory body parts back and having things that didn't belong gone in a good way um, and getting through it and choosing the right thing. Um, I know that it's going to benefit my husband. It's going to benefit my three little sweet little Yorkie babies and my Siberian cat. Um, Just so many benefits to feeling good. Um, Mariana, thank you so much. It's been It's been a pretty amazing healing process. I honestly can't believe just how fast I'm healing from such a major thing. So, I mean, I'm not pushing it. Like, I'm not allowed to lift anything. Um, So, you know, it's like you have to – even yesterday, I sort of forgot for a second because, you know, especially as you start feeling so much better, you forget that you have some, you know, physical limitations of what you're supposed to do. Um, And I went and tried to pull out a chair and it really pulled my chest muscles. So I have to be really careful of that so I don't, you know, ruin the surgical work that he did. But um, yeah, it was a real learning experience. And I know that this isn't something that every single person um, has with implants, but uh, definitely was mine. So Mariana, they're back in Boston. We're in um, Newport Beach, California. They're staying with my two um, personal assistants that kind of like switch on and off time-wise. And the cat is there as well. So Um, It would have, I mean, it was so complex even getting here just with me and with my suitcases and things. And then um, Jeff needs to take me back um, and he has to carry all the suitcases and things because I can't even wheel a suitcase. I mean, I'm not physically, uh, they had to basically totally repair my chest muscles because apparently when you get implants in, they, the plastic surgeon usually really damages your chest muscles, which I had no idea about whatsoever. Um, So those have to heal. So I'm really not allowed to use anything for a while. Um, I miss the babies a lot, but it's good that they're not here because I think they would try to jump on me. And because everything is so new and fresh, it's like, you know, good to have a little break from that as much as I love them. And Jeff has his hands full because it's like, I'm like a big adult baby right now. He just totally has to care for me and do everything. He went to the gym and he had to get my drinks ready and a little yogurt ready. And like, you know, he's just been the best husband in the entire world. Um, so yes, I am eating really well. We're just keeping it really simple. We've been, there's such good takeout in California. Oh my gosh, there's such good takeout. And one of my friends who used to do fitness competitions with me is she lives in Newport Beach. So I asked her for good, healthy takeout recommendations. And so like every day we've been getting this delicious panini sandwich. It's it's chicken with pesto and focaccia bread, a little bit of cheese, a little bit of arugula, tomatoes. Um, and then they make these like homemade, almost like ding dongs. They're so good. So I know the ding dongs probably aren't that healthy, but we're splitting one. Um, my appetite is good though. I'm having like Ezekiel English muffins, grass fed butter, um, free range eggs every day. And, uh, yeah, just regular stuff, coffee, lots of water, and then just keeping it low inflammation. So like a little bit of dark chocolate, um, kefir or I forget how you say it, kefir yogurt to get my, um, gut flora healthy again, because obviously they gave me a lot of anesthesia and antibiotics. Um, and then, um, some berries every day, grass fed steak, vegetables. So yeah, all healthy. Like I usually eat, um, and then just like a miniature, miniature walks every day. Um, thank you so much for saying hello. I'm like, how do you say it? Bien, bienvenue. I'm probably butchering it. I'm so sorry, but hello. And thank you for joining. And thank you so much, Mail Dot. Yeah, I'm really happy, happy to have a good appetite and not feel sick to my stomach and things like that. Um, oh, Denise, hello, says bless you. Thank you. You will heal fast and start feeling fine soon. Hi to my little, your little angels. Love Denise and Spike, my big boy from San Francisco. Thank you so much. That is so nice of you. Yes, I'm definitely healing fast and I'm so grateful. Um, The hardest part is definitely behind me. And um, Jeff and I, we have my second post-op appointment is going to be on Thursday. I don't know what they do then, um, but I guess we'll see the doctor one more time. And... um, Really, we just haven't been doing much because 
I think when you, I guess, I mean, I don't really know. I haven't ever had a surgery this major, but my body appears to be needing a lot of energy and a lot of food to heal. Um, I notice that I'm always thinking about my next meal and it's not that I'm eating tons and tons, but like I definitely seem to think about food more than usual and um, still kind of getting my balance back. Um, I'm sure it must be because it was a disruptive surgery, but I'm definitely like more just holding a ton of water weight compared to usual, which is fine. Um, so just getting my balance back, taking little baby walks and things. And then we will go back to Boston on Sunday. Jeff is going to leave a few days later. And then my mom is going to take over and take care of me. And of course I'll be doing, I'm sure a live chat, you know, with the dogs and things like that. Um, guys, you're welcome to ask about other stuff too, other than surgery. Like it's just like a general chat. I just wanted to hop on, but also just to, you know, kind of talk about my experience a little bit. Um, but very, very happy with my surgeon. Couldn't have been any better. Very, very happy to already be, I mean, basically I removed the antigen to my immune system, which was those implants. And sometimes there are just certain things where your body it does not want something and man, will it work hard to try to get rid of them. Um, it was really something else. So yeah, that's kind of my experience, but any, any questions you guys have? And then, um, as far as like healing and things, I think I was supposed to use Neosporin, but my girlfriend that knows a lot about healthy products had me use a healing bomb by a company called Dr. Rogers instead. And, um, also a spray. It's called, it's by BrioTech and I think it's a hyperchlorous spray. So just avoiding infections and things like that. Um, and then other than that, I started up my supplements from the company called Microbe Formulas. John, I know you're really familiar with them. Um, I wasn't officially supposed to start supplements right away, but I also knew that I needed to soak up the anesthesia, protect my liver, um, and get any extra stuff out of it. So I wouldn't have started supplements if I was not already on supplements, but since my body was super primed and ready to do my supplements, I did start my binders the day after my surgery. Um, the day after that, I started my kidney and liver support and my lymphatic support and glutathione. Um, so I did do quite a few things. Um, Mail dot says, got to get yourself enough rest time daily and get yourself to sleep well. Just keep that smile. Exactly. Those are really important things. So I've been resting a lot, but also just making sure to get up every, um, at least every hour and walk around and get a little walk in because that is really important for your lymphatic system. And it's helping to start to get the uh, water retention and things out. I was so bloated about three days after the surgery that my extra small pajama pants that I usually wear did not fit. And I had to borrow. It was really funny. My husband has like, um, I think it's a brand called Viore or something. And he has these like kind of fitted joggers for himself, but they're a men's large because my husband is 215 pounds and he wound up having to lend me his pants. I mean, I'm 115 pounds usually. Um, I'm sure I weigh more right now just because of the water retention, but um, I've been wearing his pants every day, which is super, super funny, but I'm grateful that he brought them because it was so much more comfortable and everything like that. So it's been kind of an interesting experience. There were some things that I would not have thought of. I actually should I should make just a, a, you know, a YouTube video, just things that I wish I had known about explanting for people that are doing that so they know better like what to pack and, and, and all of that stuff. But all in all, just a fabulous experience. Guys, if you're just hopping on, please feel free to just like say hello in the comments. I always love to hear who's who's here, have you say hello. You can ask a question about the whole surgery experience or if you want to ask a question about like general wellness stuff or Yorkies or anything, feel free. Um, just kind of wanted to hop on here because I have not been on much lately. The last few weeks before my surgery, I was feeling terrible and um, just couldn't get it together to do a video. So I knew that once I was done, I would feel so much better. But um, our little rental is so, so cute as well. Um, really happy that we decided to rent a condo as opposed to getting a hotel room because as you can see, there's a full kitchen behind us. We have a barbecue, um, two bathrooms, a washer and dryer. And we didn't plan this at all, but there are adjustable beds, which was probably the most perfect thing ever because just like I'm on this ramp pillow, 
I'm supposed to sleep um, kind of sitting upright, so it's better for drainage and things. So anyway, everything worked out super, super well for me. Well, guys, if you have any more questions or anything, please feel free to ask. Otherwise, I'll probably hop off and do some other things, but just wanted to make myself available. I know that I don't think I have like a huge following that's into Xplant, but just in case anybody has any questions or if you have any friends, I know like people have definitely come to me since this happened and said that they think that they know someone that might need to do this or something like that. So um, just wanted to hop on and see and say hi to everybody. But I'm starting to look a little bit more like myself, still pretty tired and I miss being able to style my own hair. I've been having um, people come to the condo and blow dry my hair because um, I really avoid like having mold or uh, being around a lot of fragrance and you never know what you're going to get when you go into a hair salon. So especially in this like sort of delicate healing time, I wanted to make sure that I would not go into um, a situation where it would be really moldy or not good for me. And um, you just never know with you know, like hair salons or just places in general. Um, if I know John has had a mold experience just like I have, and once you've had one, you become a lot more careful with things like that. Well, guys, thank you so much for hopping on today. I really appreciate all of your well wishes, and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. I'm going to hop off and do some other things on my computer, maybe call my mom on Zoom for a little while, but just wanted to say hello. And if you think of any explanting questions later, please feel free to just ask them in the comments. Bye, guys. Have a great day.